What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here. We are in Colombia and Will just caught the first piranha of the day. Perfect, oh, perfect pan size eating fish right there. Look at that red eye, how cool. Let's see if we can see his teeth. Oh my gosh, hold on. Don't get bit. Their lips cover their teeth, but they are razor, razor, razor sharp. Edward, what kind of piranha is it? Black piranha. Black piranha? All right. And the black ones get like bigger too. Piranha species number three. That's really cool. So I'm here. We have Will, we have Kendall, we have Maria. Um, that's the crew that I traveled to Columbia with from the States. And the first two days have been insanely epic. We have been catching Payara, which are these vampire fish. Serenata, which looked like a massive greenie back in Florida. And I did catch a Paku, which that's what I came here for, to catch a Paku. Um, tomorrow we're gonna go peacock bass fishing. Super excited for that. But right now we're doing something a little different. We're trying to catch a piranha because I mean, we're in Colombia and as kids growing up, all you all you hear about is piranhas, cartoons, everything like that. So fingers crossed for more piranhas and hopefully we're gonna cook them on the beach for lunch today. It's gonna be epic. So we do have one, we have one pan. Will Will has lunch. We all we all else have to catch more lunch. So let's get to it. Oh, is that corn? Yeah, this is corn. They use corn. Sometimes when when we find a place, we use eggs of trout too. On okay. The, uh, I thought they were chickpeas in the bag, but it's actually corn. Is he, and he's using it to catch these bait fish right there which those bait fish are really good to catch catfish with so i'm assuming that's why we're here what are they called again they're a type Palomino. of paku it's very similar to the paku i feel like piranhas could be up along rocks like this oh, see cast well Catch another piranha. ¿Cuánto va a agarrar? ¿Por ahí unas 5 o 6? No, mucho. ¿Cuatro? ¿Para qué lo necesita? Para carnada, les vamos a cortar para carnada para el bagre. Big old belly on that fish. They got more piranha cuatro. teeth than paku teeth. Look the teeth. Yeah, they're more piranha because they're sharp. They like more the paku. Yeah. It's, it's like it's a species of paku. Mm -hmm. Is it a piranha? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yes! Yes! Did I not just say there's probably piranha along these rocks right now? Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, he's biting down now. <laughs> oh my gosh. How cool. Sin los, eh, buscando la piraña, vean, How cool is that? Bam, piranha. Sweet. That's, That's a red belly too. Ooh. So the first piranha Will caught was a black piranha. This one looks like a red belly piranha. Maybe? Cool. So, uh, no, this one is the same species that the... That it the, is? Uh, yeah. It's more orange. Yeah, it's more orange hmm. here. When they're more bigger, they're more orange. I lied, they're both black piranha. it depends on the color of the water too. Yes, that is true. Don't be afraid to run that thing right into a rock. Okay. Okay. So that like that will bounce around it. Uh, it's quite easy to snag a tree yeah. with that thing, but it is pretty hard to wedge it into a rock. Oh my gosh! Nice. That thing smacked it so hard. Woo! Nice one, Ooh. Cal. That's such a good one. Oh, my first piranha here in Colombia. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Now not to get hooked or bit. All right, Edward's got me. Look at that. Hook set right in the nose. <laughs> yes, oh my god. Edward, yes, yes, yes. No, it's I'm so excited. I cannot wait to try piranha. Oh, he's biting it. Oh, sorry. No, oh, you're good. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. So excited. I trade you. Here, hold the rod. Okay. Guys, you can take it from here. Hold on, right? That's in my Guys? Yes. Okay. 
gosh, this is so cool. I wish I could bring this home and put it in a fish tank so bad. Them teeth are mean. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. So excited. <laughs> into one he's like yep he's reeling oh there's a rod there yeah they like they like hanging out around these rocks and there's like a little current just kind of ripping around them oh that's a good one look at that Get him in the boat. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that! They're getting bigger and bigger. Awesome. That is great. We just threw the hook too. Oh my gosh! Good okay. thing he was in the boat. Let me see. What? Oh, the fish. You got it? Oh yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness. That's such a good one. That's oh awesome, dude. So cool. I wonder what's. I wonder if they have anything in their bellies too. That's so out. Cool. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I just went around that. <gasps> and that's a black prawn as well. This is a, the black? Yeah. Oh, gosh, oh, I just got that's... slammed. Awesome. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Cool. All right, I'm going to get one right now. I'm going to hook up. Give me a minute. They're hanging out in the same spot too. They don't seem to be moving around very much. That bigger one was a little further out. Well, further out, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I just love the way this point looks on, the, on these rocks with that current. Oh, you know? It just looks like fish are gonna hang out there. All right, let's get another. All right. Will's the piranha catching master. <laughs> <laughs> We're both throwing these six cents lures and they're just, the piranhas love them, literally. I threw a couple other lures, they wouldn't touch them. These ones, they like. There oh, is. what the, see? <laughs> master, master piranha catcher. <laughs> Dang. I'm gonna see if I can double up, hold up. Ah, de la roja, de la roja. This is the red belly. You got the red belly now? Yeah. Is it? Oh, yeah. yes, it is. Wow, that's a puro oh, oh, It's more well. tasty. The red bellies? <laughs> yeah, I, I prefer the red bellies. Oh, yes. Come on, I just want to double up. Watch out, with your teeth. Got this. That one is a chunk. Yeah, he is. Whoa, he's thick. Super. Catching the thick boys now. Super chunk. Where'd he go? I got you. Hold on. Oh, his Ooh, face yeah. is more round too. Yeah. Yeah. This one, this one is more aggressive than the other ones because this one going is in a school. Also, when, the, for example, if you kill this one and you throw it to the water, the other one is gonna come for eating. With the gray ones, no much, but these ones, the red belly, are more aggressive. These are the aggressive ones. These are the ones you see in the movies, and they're like. Wait, let me see him real quick. Wait, give him. This one is more sensible to the blood too. Más peligroso. Oh. Grab him in the gills and let me see him. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I got him. These ones have much blunter heads too. A lot more rounder. Yeah. That's that is sick. This is more exciting than the payara to me. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're piranhas. Alright. We we're gonna go ahead and stone this fish in the brain and put him in the cooler. I mean, they're biting this lure. 
just gotta find them. Yeah. There you are. There we go. Uh -huh. Oh, he came back! There you go. Alright, well, I'm casting your spot. Hey, do it. <laughs> Take it. Let's see. Let's see if I can't get the brother. Oi, big one. Oi, that's Ooh, a good one. Oh, is he foul hooked? No. Yeah, it's the brain. Oh! <laughs> he was hooked on top of the head. Was he? Yeah. He smacked it. That's the hook. Oh, that's a good one. No, so don't, don't oh make so much pressure. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I got him, I got him, I got him. He's coming in, he's coming in. Oh, there's a huge peacock on my line right now. Look at him in the water. You guys, my camera just froze at 20 seconds, so I have absolutely no idea what it captured, but I just hooked into this monster peacock bass here in Colombia. We're actually out here targeting um, piranha. Um, just throwing this little usuri that Edward gave me so oh my gosh I can't I'm speechless right now like what in the world just happened this is crazy but this this peacock is going in the piranha video will has a little scale we're gonna weigh it too all right can we switch yeah thank you what in the world what Dude, I'm in shock right now like I don't even sick. understand so Will, I, and the whole group, we've been targeting Payara for the past two days. Um, so we're a little burnt out on Payara right now. And we're like, you know what? Like, let's just go fun fish. Like, let's go explore, check out different banks, different rocks, different areas, different bodies of water. And right here, it's just, it's actually super calm, but there's these like little pockets in between these rocks. And so I just threw right into that pocket. That's where this big boy was chilling. Gosh, that's crazy. Nice, all right. Let's That's weigh it. So sick. We'll weigh it right before we release it. All right, fish. Let's see. How many you say? How many you think? Um, let's see. How much? Yeah. I'm gonna say 11 pounds. I say seven. Seven? Oh. Dang. All right. I'm probably way off. All right, it's in pounds right now. We'll see if you don't flip off the scale. Where do I do it? Right here? Or oh, you can do it in the hole that is in the boat, yeah. Right there? Yeah, right there. Yeah, he's already got a hole there. All right. Oh man, I'm way off. 5.9. <laughs> Eduardo was way closer than I am. Dang, that's still sick. A six pound Seis. peacock bass. I wonder, do you know what kind of peacock this one is? Yeah, this is a pintalapa. Pintalapa? No. What is it? It's not a mariposa. It's not a mariposa. It's not a mariposa. It's 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 a <laughs> wow, what a nice surprise. That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. <laughs> so we made a little pit stop to just grab some bait and I caught a nice twig. But Will caught a nice red belly. Piranha. He is, he, that piranha wasn't going anywhere. No, yeah, we're gonna release him. <laughs> Let me get you. All right. Wait, let's get a picture first, because you didn't get a picture of the other one. Bye bye, little guy. Dang. He swam off so cutely.
right, so this is the last black piranha of the day. We caught a lot of black piranhas and then also Will caught one or two red belly piranhas. We gotta go ahead and get this hook out. Did you bring flyers? Yes, I got it there. Okay. This is okay. You guys, catching these piranhas here have been absolutely insane. I'm gonna try to show you guys their teeth the best I can. I know the GoPro doesn't focus very well. If he bit you, he would wreck you very bad. That is a real native piranha right there. We're gonna release this one. We have plenty of Paku to try on the grill for lunch. So we're gonna snap a few pictures real quick and then get a good release. Such a sick fish. But oh, be strong. Hey. You ready? So sick. Alright you guys, so we are cutting its eyes on piranha fishing. We're actually going to fish for some more Pyara, but I've already filmed a lots, lots of Pyara fishing the past two days that we have been here. So we will see you guys at lunch where we're going to grill these Pyara Piranha. We're gonna grill the piranha and give them a good taste test. Oh, so exciting. Yeah, the first ones, the first prawn of the day were very tiny. I was thinking uh, like pan, like pan fish, just fry the whole fish in a pan, but we're gonna actually put these on a grill over here. Well, I shouldn't say a grill, but a grate over fire. So we're gonna go ahead and clean these fish. We're not filleting them, we're actually gonna cook them whole. And we're gonna go ahead and gut them because you don't wanna cook any type of fish with their guts in them because it's gonna taste funky. So Junior here is going to show us how they prepare whole fish in order to be cooked. Go ahead. Bueno, en este momento le vamos a hacer una cortadura al a la piraña, o sea, sobre la barriga. O sea, eso es para extraer la las tripas, pues, para poder Okay. Oh no, when sand. Oh, that's bad. Wow, well, that gust of wind came out of nowhere. There we go. A little sand ain't never hurt nobody. Okay. With a pocket knife. Es una abertura que se le hace a la piraña, o sea, para poder extraerle la víscera y poder cocinarlo, que para asarla. Okay. No, no, okay. Okay, okay. This is this knife is not as sharp as I thought it was. Okay. Abrimos un poco la costilla, o sea, para sacar lo que es toda la víscera, por lo que no. Oh, what's in his stomach? Ajá. Cut it open. Me lo corté para abrirlo. ¿Cómo dice? Que lo abra. ¿Lo vas por tribo? ¿Ese es el estómago? No, este es una, o sea, este es como uno común que tiene la, okay. la, los pescados it's normalmente. The, it's the leaf, it's not the stomach. It's the swim bladder. Este es el estómago. It's the leaf, the. Este es el estómago. This is the stomach. Oh, that's the stomach. Okay. Interesting. Pulmones. Looks like a swim bladder. Hmm. All right. Cool. Bueno, en este momento aquí les, lo se lo agarramos desde bien adentro para sacarle todo lo que es el estómago y las tripas. Okay, so we're just getting the fish. Okay. 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 They got a pretty big gut cavity. A lot bigger than I thought. Ahí le sacamos todas las tripas y, hay, y queda el mondongo que siempre normalmente se pica, pues, el mondongo. Okay. El estómago, que llama. I cut that out. <coughs> oh, I think this is his... Se limpia, pues, bueno, todo lo que es la sangre también que tiene pegar y la manteca, pues, grasa que tiene la piraña también, grasa. Bordo. Okay. Oh, look at that. Cleaned out gut cavity. Oh. Aquí debajo de... Decimos, decimos los cachetes del Caribe, o sea, se le sacan la, las agallas pues, para pa poder hacer lo que tampoco se come. Son como decir las narices de uno por donde respiran los caribes, las pirañas. I didn't think they were going to take the gills out, honestly. The fish we ate 
uh, the other day. Actually, the paku we ate yesterday, the gills were still in the fish. Luckily, I don't think it altered the flavor too much with the paku. There's all these little bait fish coming up and eating the guts that we're throwing in the water. Eso es la, la aleta de una curvina, de un pescado, de una payara de aquí arriba. The fins of some payara. Que tiramos de desecho y de pronto lo habían comido. All the fins of smaller payara. Yeah. That was in the stomach of this piranha right here. Interesting. <laughs> I normally use gloves to uh, pull the guts out and the gills. Ooh. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Dead fish bite me all the time. You'll be surprised. All right, yeah. anything else? That's it. Ya en este momento ya para consumirlo ya. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and clean the rest of these piranha and then we'll see you guys up at the fire. So right now they're just adding a little more wood to the fire. That way we can cook these piranha appropriately. Check out their whole setup here though. How cool is that? Con el palo de con tablita, esa tablita prende rápido. Es el tablito que tiene abajo. I love it. Oh. That smoke in my eyes, I couldn't do it. <laughs> no puede. Ahora la no se está riendo de ti. Mira, Uco, pica esta en su rapidito así. Para poder su aprende rápido. Oh no. Yes. So these fish are going literally straight on wood. Wow. It's super windy right now and the breeze is blowing, so we're trying to get this fire started and to keep it going. So in a lot of different countries and islands that I've been to, I've noticed a lot of them use plastic to start the fires and then they'll add just really dry flammable wood to it <laughs> to get that fire going. <coughs> There we go, now that fire is kicking. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm getting better. Largo, el sin, para taparlo. Beautiful. Cover it? Okay. Gracias. That is hot. I need to buy you some oven mitts. Check that out. All right, we're gonna let that cool down. The prana have probably been sitting over the fire getting smoked for about 30, 35, maybe 40 minutes. 
I wanted to take it off earlier, but they're like, no, 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 it's not done. I'm like, okay, okay. So we went ahead and put the Prana back on there and now we're gonna try it. We actually just had some red drum that was, oh, I guess Sil it was a red drum. Silver drum. Silver, Silver drum. Um, back in Florida, it resembled our red drum, which was very, very good. Uh, some rice, I think this was beef. But our lunches have been amazing on this trip with Fish Columbia so far. All right, we gotta let this cool before we dig in. Okay, so we went ahead and took the red belly right, off the grill as well. So we have yes, the dear. black yes, piranha yes, and the red belly yes, piranha dear. here. Sorry. We're gonna go ahead and dress it up with some lime because we have absolutely no seasoning, no butter, no salt, no pepper, nothing. I went ahead and opened that skin just so it would cool down so we're not juggling the fish with our mouths. Maria. You can be the first one to try right. it. And I will. Thank I got you. juice on the lens. Yeah, a little bit. Still kind of hot. Well, that, you're going for like outside of the belly. Yeah. It's good. Does it taste like a fish? Yeah, it tastes like a fish. Does it's it have not, a, a fishy not... flavor? Let's see. I'm going to go in. It for doesn't the taste red. like chicken, I'll tell you that. <laughs> the, payara, the payara tasted like chicken. It did. This is good right here. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, Joel, come on, good. dig in. Like a light you know you want to try piranha. Will, you've been talking about it all day. I'll eat it. Kendall, mm. come on. I'm good. What? Yeah, no, no. Good. You're in Colombia. You have to try piranha. I don't even like fish. Like, she's not. She's not big <laughs> on seafood. Don't like to eat fish. So. <laughs> like, she's not she too tried, big. She tried the I drum. Tried the drum. I tried the piranha. <laughs> I'm maxed out. <laughs> This is Bryce here. He's one of the guides here at Fish Columbia. That's good. As well as Edward that has been with us the past three days. He's absolutely amazing. Huge help. No. That was actually surprisingly good. Not too bad, right? No, that's pretty good. And I put the little... Uh, that might be why it's good. Little lemon lime on there. It's not too shabby. Let me get that black. I'm trying to not get that bloodline though. That's good. I would say next time I would bleed out these fish. Or there's like a good white fish. Yeah. A white. I'm trying to think of what? Like the black piranha is a lot yeah, yeah. more mild. Yeah, the black is? I so I haven't tried the red belly. Hold on, let me try it. Yeah, let's see this. Yeah, that was good. Mm -hmm. What is the... I think the red belly is better. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> red bellies are much better. The red belly. Yeah. That's good. It just has a little, a little bit sweeter. more... A little sweeter. Exactly. Mmm. Right. It kind of tastes like trout a little bit. Okay. I feel it. I dig it. Surprisingly mild. Yeah. Mmm. That That's not bad. The whole thing to the, to the dome. <laughs> Let's you see degree. it. You're good. It's spicy, spicy. Just do it. You're going to find out. To find it's, out. Not, it's not very spicy. <laughs> I eat we watched times. you cough he all over it. <laughs> he was staring at like bro. Don't listen on to him. him. What kind of pepper is this? That's a ghost pepper. No, Are you serious? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, it's it's not not a ghost pepper. Pepper. What kind of pepper? It's, it's just a, it's a Colombian pepper. It's a Colombian it's a, pepper. pepper. It's a chili pepper. Just a little like. sweet chili pepper. No big deal. It looks deal. like a, a little sweet chili pepper. Really that bad? <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> That's really hot. Holy moly. <laughs> It just burns your tongue. It doesn't make you cry. Your tongue just is on fire. That's good. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty flavor though. It's pretty good. It's, it's got, it's a kick. Oh, he's not Why would I torture myself? No. You didn't eat the fish. You gotta eat the pepper. Yeah. Holy moly. Okay, now it's hot. Now it's hot. Fish is still there. It builds up. <laughs> 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 Where's that coconut milk at? Oh. Mm. Not bad. It was a really good spice though. That was hot. All right, you guys. This video is ending. We're gonna continue to finish our lunch today. We're probably gonna throw out some catfish lines later. Hopefully hook up to a nice, beautiful tiger shovel nose catfish. That's the goal for this trip. But we would be happy with any catfish that we do catch. Next two days, we're gonna be targeting massive peacock bass here in Columbia on the Orinoco River. So right now this video is ending. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up and leave a positive comment below. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is probably my favorite video so far. So right now I will see you guys next time. See ya.